Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Matt Ryan under center. The Falcons snap it at the 36. Coleman's tackled down at the 36. Interesting situation here for the offense. They got a lead here in the second half, but it's third long. And, and you always like to say, the football is in the hands of the quarterback, so he has to be smart. If he tries to force it down the field, I do not like his chances. The Falcons snap it at the 36. Pass is intercepted. The Panthers seemingly had everything going early with the passing game, but it's been a big change since. Newton's tried to adjust to the defense, but it hasn't worked out. Well, he's tried, but listen, there's nothing he can do about the offensive line. It's not been as sharp, and I'll tell you what, when an offensive line is not sharp, our quarterback's going to lose confidence. Ted Ginn takes it in. The Panthers, good job that time moving the chains, picking up that first down. And, Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You got, you're got you down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that will serve your team well. And it's batted down. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Falcons lined up in the nickel. From the gun, Newton. And incomplete, he was looking for Olsen. Pass rushers, defensive players, they love situations like this, don't they? They got a little lead there, it's in the second half and it's third and long. You are expecting pass, so you can just let it go and try to get after the quarterback. He'll throw it over the middle. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. That's his first reception today. The Panthers just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. Newton's completion percentage, 60% on the day. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Brooks Reed with the sack. Well, I know this feeling. When a blitzer's coming, nobody's there to block him. There's nothing you can do as a quarterback, but try to protect yourself because you're going down. Loss of three on the play. Cam Newton takes it from the shotgun. Getting away from the pressure. Feeling the heat. Newton's the injured player and will take a break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We'll head back to the field now after the injury timeout. Danielle Bellini is getting us the update on exactly what happened down there. Third down on the way. The Falcons defense now is going to go nickel. Anderson's back in shotgun formation. That ball should have been picked, but instead it's knocked away incomplete. Well, this defense has really led the way so far. They've been terrific through two and a half quarters. Now they just need their offense to hold up their side of the bargain. Well, let, let's talk about the defense. Another nice job on third down getting off the field. But let's be honest here. The other team's offense, it stinks. Jim, they're so bad, you and I could go over there, play on defense, and probably have success. That punt sets up the defense now in excellent position as they're able to down the football inside the 10. 
looking now at the numbers, it's got to be a bit frustrating for this running back. You would expect him to get stronger as the game goes on, but the numbers have actually gone in the other direction. Well, that's what you would think, but I'll tell you, this defense has gotten stronger as the game has gone along. You know, I think what happened is they were just tired of getting run over. Matt Ryan under center. Freeman's going to take the handoff now. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second down here. Freeman's handed the football. And Davis is the one who made the big stop. One team's running the football, the other is passing. But both are working with their game plans. Yeah, they both are working. As you look down there on the field, one set of running backs are really happy. On the other side, the wide receiver group, they're really happy. So as long as you get it done, that's all that matters. And it's Roman Harper who makes the tackle. Bosher is back now. He'll be punting it away. Ginn will try his return. And that's a gain of 10. The Falcons have to be grateful that their defense has been so dominant today, and that's why they're right in the middle of this one. Yeah, that's why they're in this game so far, Jim. It's good to see it, too, on the defensive side, but to play this way, to be so dominating and physical, good sign for their defense. First down at the 41. The hit knocks the ball out incomplete. You might as well catch it because you're going to take the big hit no matter what. That time, the receiver lets the ball go because he was worried about the defender making the hit. That's second down coming up. There's a flag right there. Had it for just a second, but then it came out on contact. Reading for the snap. Beasley's all over that offense and brings him down. Newton's got a lot to think of here in a split second. Does he keep the football? Does he pitch it? Does he cut back? Well, there's nothing to do that time. The defense is alert and they tackle him for a loss of yard. Second down and 13. And now Newton's. They deck the quarterback. Push off foul. Face mask. Defense. Boy, if his head got yanked back the other down. way, an obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. The Panthers come out with a split backfield. Devin Funches comes away with the football. Big first down by the offense that time. Here in the second half, they're losing a close game, and you get that first down. It just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. 
when you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. And the three here in downtown Atlanta. We'll be back momentarily for the start of the fourth. The Panthers' offense has switched sides now and has the football as we begin the fourth quarter. At the 20-yard line and now in the red zone. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. The Panthers look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. First down here after the run. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. That's a touchdown. Able to take it across from just a couple of yards out. They got the points they were looking for, and they got them right away here in the fourth. We're all tied up. Yeah, you know, when it gets into fourth quarter of football games, players do start to look at that clock. They look at the score, and they think about winning and losing. And when you do that, that usually picks up the pace of play. The Panthers will tie it up with this extra point. And the point after is good. Now ready to kick it off as we have a tie game here. Scores 14 to 14. The Falcons in kick return formation. And no return as this goes for a touchback. The Panthers defense last time out there said, you know what, we're in the three and out business. The great late Charlie Jones would have said that was spectacular. And that's what they looked like on that last drive. They just, they dominated in every aspect. You had to love Charlie Jones. Oh, man, he was the best. First down at the 20. Gets the handle here. Allen's able to read that play and make the hit. Falcons continue to battle, but they haven't been able to figure out how to run the football. Freeman's been given touches, but he hasn't done much with them on these handoffs. But well, what you do on the offensive side when you're not running it well, you just keep fighting. In the NFL, toughness can win out. That's why you keep trying to run the football. Second and 12. They'll run it here. Going to be a penalty here. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're Running so fast, they're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes, accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. For a gain of about five. That's his first reception today. When you run that drag route across the field, it is not as easy as it looks. You're running fast. You have to catch the football right in stride, and you cannot see what's in front of you. The Falcons snap it at the 36. And he hauls it in. No one's going to get him now. The 30, the 20, the 10. Going to take it home for the touchdown. Still a lot of 
game to go, but they've taken the lead on that touchdown. Oh, man, that's awesome. Anytime you take the lead in the fourth quarter, that is a huge deal because we're talking about limited possessions, limited time on the play clock. This puts a lot of pressure on the other team. That's a timeout by the defense.